Hello everybody, um, I'm going to do a, a tutorial video, kind of a review on Windows 8. Um, uh, I've had it now about a week and a half, uh, just enough time to kind of get through it, uh, learn most of the basics, and uh, and uh, so far I'm, I'm really liking it. Um, there's a lot of new things. Um, um, a lot of the, some of the panels look the same. Um, you'll notice I'm on the desktop right now. You'll notice right off the bat, um, there is no start panel. Or start button. Um, this little taskbar is down here. It'll show you as as you can see the different things that um, are on there. Like I have Skype loaded and things like that. <coughs> um, but your desktop pretty much can look the same. When you first start out, you'll probably have nothing on there. You'll have to add your your my computer things like that, and those can be added the same way as you would before. You right click, you can go to personalize, and within here you can change your desktop icons, your mouse pointers, your themes. Um, uh, a new thing within um, uh, Windows 8 is um, some of the uh, contrasts, the color schemes. Um, you can even go to a color mixer, change it there. Um, just some different things within that color mixer. If you uh, if you want to change that, you can match it to your desktop. Um, that's kind of what I've done here. Is just kind of zoomed it and or uh, ran the bar across to to match it. Um, then you just hit save changes and you're good. Um, <clears throat> same with your background. You, you know, a lot of these things are, are easy to figure out and easy to see. Um, pretty much the same as they've always been. Um, okay, so, um, but like I was going back to, the start button, it is no longer there. If you want the start button to come up, you can come all the way in the corner and it'll take you to the start screen. I'll get to that here in a few minutes, but as of right now, that is how you do that. You can also hit the Windows button. It will immediately take you there. Um, and we'll go check that out here in a few minutes. Um... Uh, the other thing you can do is you can take your pointer up into the far right corner and it will bring down this menu. If you drag down, it'll kind of harden that menu so you can see it a little better. From there, you can do your search just like you would on any other computer. Um, you can share. This is a unique thing. Uh, let's say you're in an application. Now, I use the word application. Um, they're no longer programs. It's applications. So if you're in, in uh, Firefox, if you're in Minecraft, if you're in Skype, anything that you're in that has the ability to share information, you can now click the share button and through any one of your apps, Facebook, um, your email, uh, anything social, you can share a web page, you can share a link, anything you want um, once you got that all set up. Um, the next thing, um, you also have a start button there, which will take you to the same location as the one in the far left bottom corner. Um, and then you have devices. Um, in devices, you can click there, and uh, uh, it looks like, oh, right now I've got it set up all unique. Um, but uh, in devices, you can see what devices are connected, like your keyboard, your printers, your speakers, things like that. Also, um, something else you can look at is in here is your settings. Now from your settings panel you can click on settings you can go to the control panel which I have set up over here already you can personalize which is the right click menu that I just showed you or you can go to your PC info so like for example Windows 8 um, you can see everything that's about your computer your full name your work group everything that you would see by click right clicking your my computer and hitting preferences or info or well, let's see what exactly it is properties is what it would be so right click oop, and go to properties it would bring up the same window and because it's already up you can go to your device manager all your normal things in your um, PC info um, the next thing within, within that menu is gonna be um, uh, help um, I haven't used that too much I'm sure it's just your normal Windows help from this menu you can see your network connection type um, if you have a wireless um, like for say this is a laptop you can see your wireless connection status and and go to your network there you also have a volume button which you can change right inside there um, uh, this would be your brightness right now I don't have the brightness set uh, set up through there um, notifications. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about social apps here in a minute. But your social apps, your email, your Facebook, things like that, Skype, it, you can connect them to give you notifications right here. You also can turn your computer off through the button and see your keyboard settings. The next thing I want to show you is your change PC settings. This is going to be important for those of you who like your uh, machine to look a certain way. 
Um, in this, you have personalize. You have your lock screen, which um, uh, I would show you right now, but it'll shut down the recording. Anyway, um, when you lock your Windows desktop, it has a lock screen, and this is what shows. It shows the time, the date, and all you have to do is hit a key or click on the screen anywhere, and it will then take you um, where you log in. Um, something that you will notice with Windows 8 is you can um, set it up so that uh, your login is your Windows Live ID. Um, it'll link your account so that across all platforms that you go, anybody who has Windows 8, if you uh, log in with that user, it can set you up um, with that user um, and, and show all your preferences once you have that PC saved as a trusted PC. Um, uh, uh, maybe I'll do another um, video later on to kind of go into that more um, in, into more detail. From here, you can change the way things look on your lock screen. You can change the cut the background. Um, you can also change screens that have notifications. So down here in the bottom corner, you could notice that you maybe you have an um, email, um, an email here or a message from one of your apps, say Facebook. Um, <clears throat> I have my calendar set there, so if I have an important date, it'll show up. And then um, I also I use New Egg quite a bit, so it has uh, tracking information on there. Um, the next thing is your start screen. Start screen, which I will show you here in a few minutes, you can change the layout and look of your start screen. And in fact, let's show you that real quick. This is the new start screen. If you didn't see it, I went down here to the bottom corner and I clicked. Um, and, and in this, this shows your apps. For example, your desktop and your weather. Um, you can click to your desktop. It'll also show your mail. So you click on your mail and it goes back. If you want to get back to it, you can either click the button to go to the start, or you can hit your Windows key. Um, once you do so, it will take you back to this menu where you can see all your applications that you've installed. Um, well, all the applications that you use frequently and installed, um, and and any apps that you've downloaded. Um, and I'll show you the store here in a minute. But most of these apps can be changed. Um, so, like desktop, if you right-click on it, you can make it smaller, or you can make it larger. There's only two sizes right now. I have a feeling that uh, uh, things will change on how that is developed and how things work in here. Um, you can also move them around how you would like. If you just click on it, hold and drag, you can then move any of these apps anywhere you would like and they will um, rearrange. Um, this is really good for people who like that setup. So now that I've showed you the start screen, um, we'll come back to this a little later. Um, we'll go back into the settings and change PC settings. So that's where this comes in. You can change the colors that you want it to be set up as, and you can change the design that's in the background. Um, I personally kind of like mine pretty simple, so that's what I have it. You'll also notice that you have an account picture. Uh, I put a family picture from last year's Christmas because we're getting close to the holiday seasons. But uh, from there, you can uh, switch things around and, and look at different things. Um, here you can also change your users, you can change your notification settings, you can also change what you can search, you can change how you share. Um, uh, currently I have um, things on to share, but uh, I still have some work to do on that. Um, you can change your time, your apps, switching between apps, um, your autocorrect spelling is in there, language, uh, refreshing your PC, available storage. Um, everything is in here, um, a lot of different things. Um, privacy, your devices, you can also look at your devices in here. Um, ease of access settings, which um, those of you who use the ease of access settings, you will definitely know how to use a lot of these. Um, you can set up different things to sync, um, like for example, trust this PC. Um, like I said before, I'll do another video on that later. Um, you can also set up your home group uh, uh, um, settings and your Windows update. Um, you can check for new updates or it will automatically check just like normal. So let's go back to the start screen. Um, in the start screen you'll see that uh, um, I have a lot of apps and I can right click but I can also go to all apps and this will show all the apps or programs if you will that I have installed on my uh, on my computer just as if you were to hit your start menu and have them show up. Now it will show up this way. Um, let's say you don't want to go through all these, you have a certain one you want to look up. I can't find Skype, so if I just start typing, it will automatically 
show up for me. I can then erase that and change it to anything else. Um, let's say I want to look up Xbox. There we go. Xbox, there it is. Okay, so now you'll notice that in there I have some apps that are unique. Finance apps, games apps, iHeartRadio app. Um, these are apps that you can actually get in the store. So let's type in store and let's click on the store app. Now within the store app, this is the main screen. It looks a lot like the Xbox uh, dashboard. If you have an Xbox, you'll find this very user friendly to you. Um, you also notice to me it's a lot like a smartphone. If you have a smartphone, you will feel very at home with this. Um, I love it. Um, I, I love the, the setup, the layout. I, um, you know, if you can go into any one of these, entertainment for example. And you can either click on the entertainment icon, which will take you to all the apps available, or you can be cheap like me and click on the top free. Um, and here you can see all the apps. I am almost guaranteeing that this is just a, a small amount. Since I've been on here, um, this has increased by double. Um, as the release of uh, Windows 8 is on October 26th, which I'm sure most of you will be viewing this on that day or later, um, you will see this just grow. Um, you're going to have developers creating all kinds of uh, uh, different uh, apps for this uh, uh, for Windows 8, and they'll they'll come up you know anytime. I would recommend stay away from some of the uh, more s the, the 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 cost ones. Uh, for example, if I was to all of a sudden type in Facebook app um, and then do a search for that it's gonna pop up all the apps that tend to be about Facebook for example Facebook friends I'm sure Facebook at some point in time will come out with their own app as of right now you have different programs trying to uh, sell you if you will a, a an app um, because they're taking advantage of the fact that Facebook hasn't come out with a free app yet. Um, uh, so I recommend hanging on, um, especially since there is another place you can do this. So let's go back to the start screen again. And in here, that's where I would like to show you this app. This is your people app. Um, you can set it up to be all of your contacts. Um, in this case, you go over to the side corner. And another thing, within your apps, if you ever want to change settings, per app you can do it right through that just go to your top right hand corner drag down go to settings and out it will pop in this case we're gonna do accounts and you can link any account that is uh, available through Windows 8 um, I have my Skype my Gmail and my Facebook and my Microsoft Live um, from there you can uh, click on any of your your contacts and, and change all the settings from there um, now, if you notice, I've been going over to this screen over here, and I'll show that here in a few moments. Um, we have a different, a couple of different uh, things I'd like to also show. For example, I'm going to go into my desktop. Now, from my desktop, um, okay, let's say I want to listen to some music. Um, let's say I want to go to, or how about YouTube player? I go to my YouTube player, and I want to watch a video. So, let's start a video, but I want to, oh, let's uh let's pause that for now that's very loud so um anyway um let's say i don't want to just have this open i want to be able to do some other stuff while i'm doing that so i can now come over to my top screen and you've been seeing me do this a lot this is all the programs or apps that you have uh open at this point in time if you come over to this screen top corner and then you drag if just come into the top corner and you click you'll go to the last open app if you drag down it will actually show you all the apps that you have open in this case I'm gonna click my desktop okay well but that sent it away so what if I want to pin that you can either right click and snap it left or right or you can grab it with your left click and you can drag it to one side and snap or to the other side and snap. So let's drag it to the right side. And there we go. Um, if I was to play that video, it would show a little screen here. I could also drag this over here and snap it left. And, and you can do that with just about any app. If you were to drag it all the way off screen like I just did, it'll disappear and you will no longer have to see that. So <clears throat> now that we have um, those things done, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to give you my overall opinion. Overall, um, Windows 8 for me has been um, a refreshing new. Um, it's not like going from XP to Vista where I was just like, God, I hate this. 
um, it's for me it's it's a big plus um, I, I've found that drivers seem to just uh, to just go um, so programs um, devices seem to just install with ease um, startup is a breeze for me um, you know uh, compared to say uh, Vista or Windows 7 um, Windows 7 you know they're, they're comparable um, and you know I'm gonna say that uh, if you are thinking about upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 8 um, it's it's definitely not the same as upgrading from Vista to 7 um, you are gonna be getting a lot of changes and in my opinion a lot of great changes um, you know um, the the apps set up to me is absolutely bar none the best uh, thing I think they've done with Windows 8 um, with, um, and then uh, you know um, if uh, if you're one of the lucky people who bought a Windows 7 PC within the last month, I'm sure you would have noticed that you get an update tomorrow, the October 26th, um, for $14.99. Uh, that is ridiculously cheap. Um, I, I recommend everybody uh, go out and get that and uh, and check it out. Um, if you um, are interested, I believe that you can probably get um, uh, ch try out um, Windows 8. I don't know if that's still available or not, but uh, if it is, go try it out. It's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing new uh, experience. And uh, if you guys have any questions, maybe you guys have some thing problems you run into, um, you can put a comment down below. Uh, if you get Windows 8 and you say, "Hey, I can't figure out how to do this. I can't figure out how to access this," send me a YouTube message, and I will get back to you. Um, either I will get you the answer, or I will already know the answer. Uh, if it's good enough, I may make a video about it. So. Um, thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, I could use the uh, subscriptions and likes and favorites. Um, I'm going to continue to do uh, games, and, uh, and hopefully we'll do a couple of these uh, tutorials also and reviews. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by, and have a nice one.